Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you so much for coming by today. Today we are going to do something awesome since it's Valentine. And to those who are new on my channel, I am a mom who loves to flip items from the Dollar Tree, Walmart, Goodwill, and anything that can be recycled. I also sell jewelries, and speaking of jewelries, there you go. This is stamped TNR, and I just recently posted this. So if you go there and you won't see this anymore, that means it is sold from a different website because I cross-posted them. I also sell a mystery box. So I offer on the mystery box, which is three piece of jewelry inside the mystery box, which is $13 plus shipping you pay for the shipping and that's it and it's inside is three jewelries inside all right so what are you waiting for go check them out when you're done watching my whole video and look at that super beautiful but anyway let's get going and make our tiny little crafts which is we are going to make a gnome something like this where you can hide something goodies chocolate and candies underneath or you can even hide your keys down there all right so let's go get our craft items so we can get it going here we go okay so what we need is wood beads if you can find this at the Dollar Tree, go grab it. This is super awesome. This is where, um, you know, the water globe or somehow that you can put in it. So this one, a sock. Yes, the air muffs. I got this also from the Dollar Tree. Felt. And I think that's all we need. And of course, get your glue gun ready. So let's get started. All right, so first we are going to open this and remove this plastic down here. All right. And there you go. Should look like that, nothing in there. Okay. Sock is going to be removed down here. And then we are going to remove this. So it is done. There you go. And we just separated them. All right. Now let's proceed in here. Let's grab our sock. And the sock that we choose is this color. And all you got to do is you just have to aim like almost close like that in there and you know why I want that so you'll see in the end next is we are going to fold it inside like that and I am aiming to glue this part down here All right, so after that, all you have to do is you just have to tie it up. It's kind of like on the middle of it, of the head. There you go. And then now we are going to work on our gnome's hat, okay? And this time, I am going to glue this together like a triangle. And I'm just going to glue it like so, like that, okay? And I want 
this one bent you can put a buttons in there if you want to but for mine I'm just going to bend it like so all right so it is done and glued so what you're gonna do next to wherever we meet you are going to fold it like so like that and all you have to do is you are going to cut an opposite triangle area like that just cut it let's see down here just cut it like a triangle like so and it doesn't need to be perfect all right so there you go there is our gnomes hat going and next is you are going to cut a heart shape but it's going to be flat at the bottom and I'm just going to cut it like so there you go there's the heart and then we are going to cut another oval ish for like an arm all right so if you don't know how to do it the heart that you have you can always cut them in half and all you have to do is just make a something like that like so and then you have this kind of arm looking so that should be look like that what I'm trying to do right now is I'm just going to trace and I'm going to cut four of this, okay? Alright, so here is the hat, the heart that we just cut, and for the arms. Now what we're going to do is we are going to glue this arm, just glue it all together. Just glue them, like on the edge to edge. do the same way to this other arm okay all right so next you are going to grab a jute or any thread that you like I like the jute because it looks classic and I'm going to put this arm in this end to create like a glove and then just tie it down like so just tie it like that all right and you just cut it and you cut it just like that so now our gnome has a arm and a mitten and do the other one cut. you can glue it if you want but for this tutorial purposes I'm just going to leave it like that because it's already tied so all right so there you go there is our gnome's arm next is we are going to grab our gnome's beard and all we have to do is we are just going to look for where should we put our gnome's beard i want it like that and i'm going to cut this in here in the middle like so and i'm going to grab my beads 
This is the beads I want. And then you put this hat down here. And it should fit. Look how cute that is. Isn't it beautiful? And I'm just going to put a dab of glue down on that nose. And I am going to put our gnome's arm down in the side. And after that, with this heart that you cut and it was flat at the bottom, it's where you glue it down here on this end, not here, this end, okay? So just like that, so it looks like a shoe. Gnome got a shoes, ta ta da da Okay, just on that end. So I'm just going to glue this part. And just glue them like so. Like that. And there you go. We got a shoe on our gnome. And I have this DIY stickers. It's a wood chip from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this heart. I'm going to put that right here on that side. Super cute. I like that right there. All right, so next you are going to grab any of your favorite chocolates. I'm using Reese's. So I can open the bottom down here. That's one of the reasons we don't cover that up so we can hide our chocolates. Put your chocolates in there or even you can even hide your keys in there if you have a keys that you want to hide you can hide them in there there you go or a snack for your little baby and there you go Super cute. Now, you got a chocolate inside. Super nice. And I also made a different one, which is a purple and has a heart in it in, in the side as well. So it's you can also open it if you want to and put some candies or keys in there. So, there you go, and I'm going to show you guys the closer look, okay?